Hello, my name is Cinda, and today is a very special food experiment. And today I'm going to be making barbecued, barbecued pizza. <laughs> today I'm out in my local uh, forest preserve to use one of their outdoor grills to grill this pizza. With me here, I have all the ingredients I need to make a barbecue style pizza. Right here, in my cool pack, I have a thing of homemade dough and uh, some pine cut, fresh cut up pineapple, some tomato sauce, some barbecue sauce right here, and some cheese and chicken. Ooh, I'm getting hungry already. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and hurry up. It looks like there's a storm coming. So I wanna try and get the grill as hot as possible and have the pizza done before it rains. So let's do this. So right here is the grill I'm gonna be using. It's ultra fancy. <laughs> and I think it'll cook up a pizza pretty nicely. We're gonna go get a bed of charcoal going. Here's my fire starter. Basically a whole bunch of charcoals. Oh my god, I can't get it out. Okay, I have the fire ready to go. Now let there be fire. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay boys, it's pizza time. <laughs> Ooh, it's time to go prep up this pizza here. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with the dough. <laughs> All right. Looks like a wet dough here. I'm going to try and get it stressed out. Sort of like a pizza. Just going to stretch. Get nice and thin. Just wish for the best. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go get the sauce. So now I'm going to... Oh, I really hope this turns out well. I'm going to grab some of this pizza sauce here. I'm gonna just spread it across the bread. I hope it works. It's a good amount of sauce, I think. We're just gonna go with it. Oh, I, I have like a big fear that it wasn't hot enough. I'm gonna throw down some barbecue sauce. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. It just comes on down. It just doesn't look right. Okay, let's move on to the toppings. We're gonna start with the cheese. Flop it on. Who knows if it's gonna melt or not. But I'm just gonna have to hope so. I think this is a good amount. Now I'm gonna throw on the pineapple. Pineapple topping. <laughs> Ooh, I've never actually put pineapple on a homemade pizza before. I've made a couple of pieces at home. But I've never actually went ahead and put pineapple on it. And last but not least, some chicken. Just gonna plop it on. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'll just put a lid on top and hope for the best. <laughs> hmm, let's take a peek inside. Come on. Oh, look at that. It's, it's all raw! <laughs> wow, it's a slightly cooked on the bottom though. So maybe time is the answer. Just give it more time. <laughs> it sort of looks like it's cooking. I'm not really sure though. I'll try and lift it up a little bit. It's got some grill marks. Perhaps if I uh, pick up the pizza and move it a little bit further down, I can like, uh, like cook the parts of the crust that aren't cooking. Okay. <laughs> mm, I have my doubts. Because it's totally like sticking in here. Okay, I'm just gonna try and lift it. I'm gonna wish for the best. It may break here, but I gotta move it. <laughs> okay. So now, that looks like it's cooking pretty well. 
We're just gonna flip it around to a hotter piece of the grill. Hope for the best. Mm, just cover up my troubles. There you go. May it turn out well. Oh, look at that. It's like it's starting to burn on the bottom. See? Mm, I may have to pull it off right now and just only eat this part here. It doesn't look like this part of the uh, bread is cooking enough. All right, let's go plate it up. All right, marvel at my creation. Okay, it's taste test time. Uh, inspecting the pizza, it's okay. <laughs> it's raw around the edges, so I'm gonna have to go cut it off. But it seems like uh, the down structure of the pizza, uh, like more towards the center is cooked. So I can at least see what it tastes like here. Okay, ooh. Listen to that crunch. It's crunchy. Let's see if it tastes good. Okay, thank you for the food. Whoa, oh my God. That's actually really good. Like, what in the world? The pineapple and chicken beautifully accents the barbecue sauce. And like, since I added a little bit of tomato sauce to the blend of sauce, it really helps freshen up. Okay, it's a little undercooked though. <laughs> now, talking, if I had to give this a pizza rating score out of 10, okay, I'd probably say it is a pizza-ish out of 10. Ayo, it's Cinda here in post edit. <laughs> I deleted my last video clip, so I don't have a proper conclusion to the video. So, right now, I'd like to say thank you for watching <laughs> my experimental uh, BBQ BBQ pizza that I made. <laughs> if you want to see more random stuff like this or long distance bike adventures, which I normally do, hit that subscribe button, punch it squish it, hug it, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, have a good rest of your day and thank you for watching.